What does the term workflow mean exactly? Or what is automation or an AI agent? These uh, recently became very popular, but uh, they are also very confusing terms. You might even hear something called AI workflow automation that combines all three of those concepts. The good thing is that they are actually very easy to explain and you will understand all of that in the next few minutes. We will talk about each of them and then we'll see how the automation platforms like Make, Zapier or very popular recently N8N platform can help us build those AI workflow automations. Let's start with the term workflow and automation. The fact is that uh, workflows and automations are not even the IT specific things. They've been with us for ages. And workflow? Workflow is simply a sequence of steps that you have to follow one after another to get a particular task done. And it might be surprising, but you already use some workflows in your daily life. Think about your morning routine, like, uh, I don't know, brushing your teeth, yes? What is the workflow for that task? What is the list of steps that you have to follow to have your teeth clean? Well, you need to first grab a toothbrush, (laughs) then you need to squeeze some toothpaste on it, then you brush the teeth, spit, rinse, and uh, then you put the toothbrush back. That's the workflow for this particular task. These are the steps that you have to follow in the exact order to have your teeth clean. So let's say maybe you drive to work, yes? What's the workflow for that task to get done? First, you need to grab the car keys, then you have to go and get into your car, then you drive to work and you get out of the car. That's the workflow for drive to work task. It's just another list of steps that you have to follow to get this task completed. A workflow is simply a list or a sequence of steps that have to be followed to complete a specific task. That's it. What about uh, automation then? If you think about it, there are many workflows that are very easy to automate. And again, it does not need to be about IT industry. Think about all those manufacturing and automotive workflows that have been automated over time just because they were so repetitive. For example, if a CNC machine needs to produce 10,000 identical parts, let's say, it is worth to spend some time maybe at the very beginning and create a program that will follow automatically, it will follow these steps required to make that one part. And that CNC machine then can be preloaded with the tools and will keep repeating that sequence 10,000 times until the entire job, until this entire batch of 10,000 elements is completed. Basically, that machine will go on and on and on without or with very little supervision and uh, intervention needed from a human being. So again, what what is that automation then? The automation is that a single workflow, that's a single task that is done automatic way, the way that needs none or very little human supervision. And again, as you can see, automation is nothing new. Automation is, uh, has been with us for ages. But to automate any task, you first need to understand what the workflow looks like for this particular task. What is the sequence of steps you have to follow to, to get it completed? And that's why you often hear that phrase workflow automation, because that's exactly what it is. A workflow automation is that workflow, that sequence of steps that is executed in an automated way. So now let's maybe talk about IT industry, because there are many workflows that are very easy to automate. And what can be automated? Loads of things. Like uh, you might run some automated backup scripts every day, or there are some uh, scripts running every day on the servers. Even at home, you might have some automated way of backing up your uh, photo library, let's say. And if you work in IT, you might actually get paid to build some automations. Let's say, I don't know, your boss says that every time uh, that uh, they get email, when the email arrives, they want to get some kind of notification on their WhatsApp application that they have installed on their mobile phone. As always, to get this job completed, you first need to understand and define what the workflow for that would look like, because only then you can start automating it. What that workflow would look like, those steps that you have to follow? Well, First, you have to know if there is a new email in the inbox or not. The first step is some kind of check that is able to connect to the boss's email inbox and check if there is an email or no. And if there, if there is no email, then there is nothing to do. But if there is an email, maybe you want to grab the subject of that email and that sub- subject of the email will be then forwarded to a WhatsApp application on their uh, mobile phone. And to make that simple automation, you have some platforms like N810 or Make or Zapier. And in fact, in previous video, we saw how we can install N810 platform 
so you can self-host it and uh, use it free of charge. And there you can choose a trigger, because you always uh, need some kind of trigger. And this trigger will do some checks every minute. So let's say every minute this automation will check given inbox to see if there is a new email or no. And this step would do nothing if there is no new email, but if there is a new email, we would need to extract the subject line of that email. And extracting that email subject field would be our second step of our workflow. Then once we have that email subject, we would need another third step to send this uh, subject, so this kind of uh, processed information already, and uh, that processed information has to be sent to WhatsApp application. We can use so-called so webhooks, for example, or other WhatsApp uh, integrations to be able to send that message. And uh, if you can run that workflow in automated way, you have workflow automation. So by now I hope it's clear what's, what is a workflow and what is the automation. But uh, what about AI agents? What is the AI agent and what exactly is that AI workflow automation? The AI workflow automation is a type of automation that includes a human-like reasoning step in the workflow. And this step is very often handled by a so-called AI agent. But uh, before we talk about those AI agents, let me give you an example, a simple example, where we would need that AI agent to be used as part of our workflow automation process. So let's say we still work on that same request from our boss reg regarding the email forwarding to them, to their, to their WhatsApp application. But this time, instead of just forwarding the subject line, boss asked us to send the summary of that email to WhatsApp application. So now the workflow will look slightly different because, well, the first step can be left the same because we still need to check if there is a new email or no. So that trigger that checks email inbox every minute can, can be left as it was. But then, once we have new email, we need to read that email and create a summary of what this email is about. And with standard automation, we can or maybe only pull that subject line of the email, or we could forward entire email, but our workflow currently can't understand and summarize what that email says. Because to do that, we need a human-like reasoning element. We need that AI agent backed up by some LLM, large language model, I mean, that is able to read that email and generate a summary of it. And that is where that human-like reasoning comes into the workflow. And that's what it turns it into that AI-powered workflow automation. So basically, AI agent is that component in our workflow that can handle some more complex tasks. And when I say more complex, I mean uh, where human-like reasoning is required. Those AI agents effectively replace that human part of the process, so if we create our workflow that way, we are also able to keep that workflow automated, because it does not require human intervention. It still can be done automated way. And that platform like NA10, we can connect that AI agent there to any large language model that we want, like, uh, I mean, GPT, Cloud, DeepSeek, blah, blah, you know, whatever you want. And you can then also give them some memory, so the, this AI agent can remember past steps or past tasks, and you can equip them also with some tools, like uh, calculators, like APIs, and uh, many other tools. So these AI agents can be extremely versatile, and they can be used for many tasks that are way beyond our current very simple example. But even in, in this example, I mean, it wouldn't make much sense <laughs> to employ a human being to just read the email when it arrives, and then follow forward this summary to our boss. Our boss might not even be happy with that, you know, that somebody reads th their emails. But it makes much more sense to employ that programmatic AI agent inside of our workflow, it becomes one step in our workflow, and that AI agent can be then used to create that summary every time a new email arrives. And uh, those AI agents are becoming extremely popular, really. They are already being used in some, like, stock trading. They are already making, like, business decisions, or they read CT scans or x-rays, and ca they can do much, much more. That's uh, why I think it's super useful to know how you can employ those AI agents to help you with any workflows, or maybe build workflows for, for companies to automate their tasks. And by the way, if you want to learn more about automation, or maybe about cloud computing, or programming, Linux, or many more uh, IT-related topics, then please consider visiting uh, our Automation Avenue platform, where you will find loads and loads of very useful materials. I hope by now it all makes sense, and that I clarified those terms for you. For you. So, thank you for watching. Marek.